Hey gang, it is uh, Friday, December 30th, so we're almost uh, into the new year. Happy New Year. Bye-bye 2016. Listen, I'm driving down off-grid acres, and I'm heading down a backcountry road, minding my own business, doing 58 and a 55 or whatever, and I come across the hill, and there's this woman in front of me doing 30, 30 and a 55, so I slow up. Now listen, I get anxious when people are driving that slow on a 55 road. But I learned my lesson a long time ago, call it wisdom, call it age, call it good sense. Call it, I screwed up once before and got in an accident because I wasn't all those other things. And I tried to pass somebody I probably shouldn't have tried to pass. And it almost cost me my life. <clears throat> anyway, there was another car behind me and then there was a pickup truck behind that car. And we were coming up on a broken yellow line here in the road, and I was about to put on my blinker and pass when I saw the car in front of me put on her blinker. Now I know the reason why she was going slow. She didn't know where she was going, and she had to turn somewhere around here, and here she had to turn. So I slow up. The car behind me slows up. Well, the pickup truck, who, by the way, almost jumped out in front of me while I was going down the road. They were pulling onto the road, and she almost jumped out in front of me like it was within a split second of me having a slam on the brakes. She decided to stop and she got in behind us. She decides she's gonna pass three cars on a broken yellow. Which mind you, the car in front of me was almost stopped and I was almost stopped and the car behind me was almost stopped. Well, this genius thought, well, I'm gonna speed around everyone. They were young. It was a young girl driving, a young boy in the other, in the front passenger seat. I don't know how young, but they looked to be under 20. And the guy behind me immediately recognized it and started blowing his horn, which I then blew my horn. It's all transpired in a matter of a second or two. And this person in front of me started to turn and they just, the truck tried to get around her on the left-hand side and just clipped the bumper and it looked like, you know, some metal or plastic or something come flying off. Well, the pickup truck didn't look like he wanted to stop. So I gun it to, to get up to the pickup truck so I can make sure that this person is held accountable for what they did. And we got about a half a mile down the road when I think they understood that somebody was behind them and potentially had their information was going to be a hit and run when they decided to turn around. So I see them turn around, I get another half mile or so down the road and I thought, you know what, maybe I ought to turn around and go back just to make sure that that person stopped and didn't keep driving. So that's what I did, I got back there and the person was stopped, I saw them exchanging information, I turned around and exited stage left. It wasn't serious enough where anyone needed medical attention. But it could have been. It really could have been. So I'm telling you all that to say this. Guys, it ain't worth anyone's life. Yours or, or the other person that's driving or some other innocent bystander that's coming down the highway towards you. It ain't worth anyone's life to be in that much of a hurry. I know it's no fun being behind these slow pokes. Sometimes it gets my heart racing. Sometimes I start screaming four-letter words. It just ain't worth it. Settle down, take a deep breath. It might take you five seconds longer to get to where you're going. Big deal. Uh, you couldn't wait to get in that water, could you? <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. Would you say she's happy? She seems pretty happy to me. Hey, bear. Come on. Get the ball. Come on. Come on. Get it. Ready? Get it. Ready? Go get it. Go get that ball. Girl, you got it. Bring it back. Yep, she likes that water too much. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> uh, she wants to go back out there. Anyway, guys, it's about 48 degrees, 47 degrees. It's been pretty dang windy out. A cold front came through here. I guess two nights ago we had a thunderstorm, and it was a pretty good thunderstorm. We picked up over an inch of rain, which we needed. You can see we're almost at full pond down here, darn close. I would call this full pond, actually. And um, it's cold, chilly anyway. I got buds on my tree. That's good. That's good. I mean, the old peaches will be back next year. And I got a lot of stuff to do, fellas and fillets. I just don't know where to start or what to do next. I know what I got to do next. Got to get in this camper. I'll show you. And I gotta really think about how I'm gonna connect this thing. And I might even call on my friend over there at Empty Hammock. We talked about maybe him coming down and uh, doing his job.
anyway we'll see what's up i gotta get in this camper and keep working on it i just don't I just don't know what i'm gonna do today just yeah anyway y'all know what i'm thinking or how i'm feeling holidays no motivation again yuck it says it's 45 inside, 39, 40 degrees outside. It's chilly in here. Nothing we can't handle, though. At least with our Mr. Buddy putting out 9,000 BTUs. We'll be warmed up in no time. Battery bank sitting at 14.1. We're doing well. And time to settle in. Man, I'm hungry already. Yeah, I want to show you guys. I got rain. I got water in this game camera. You can see it's got, looks like some rust down there coming out of the battery compartment. So I'm going to have to dry this out and hopefully salvage it. It's got this gasket around there. You can see there's a little pine needle in there. Ugh, looks like maybe it broke the seal and allowed some moisture to get in there. Hopefully it's salvageable. Look at that. They're looking up at us. How cool is that? There's a deer, that's a uh, the uh, doe and her yearlings. I wonder if the buck's hanging out behind them anywhere. How pretty. It's the first time we're sitting here eating dinner. And there they are. They looked right up at us. Oh. Peace. Going over in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, I bet the neighbors are out. <laughs> That's awesome. Jumping over the fence. No, they're probably running around like holding on. Mama jumped the fence. The babies are trying to look for a way around the fence. Hope they don't go out in the road. There's Mama way down the other side there. She's running up now too because the babies are looking for a way around the fence. They couldn't make it over. What do you know? Well, Happy New Year, gang. December 31st, 2016. We are waning down to the last hour and 26 minutes of 2016. Been a crazy year. Lots of crazy things going on. Glad to see it be put to bed, and I'm hoping for an awesome 2017, a lot of good things on the horizon. Just want to show you, we're going to do our annual tea party here. I love doing tea. I've shown you guys my teapot before, having a little crayon apple with some honey tonight, and we're going to bring in the new year, watching something stupid on TV, I'm sure, watching these lunatics at Times Square wearing diapers, two million people, unbelievable. Anyway, I hope wherever y'all are at, you're going to have a Good, safe, happy, healthy New Year's Eve. And uh, start out right to the new year. Thanks so much for the support this year. We appreciate it. And uh, look forward to showing you some more stuff in 2017. I think it's going to knock your socks off. What are we doing? We're feeding the worms. Sweet. What are we feeding them? We're feeding them just our food waste, our fruit and vegetable waste. All right. So we, we blended that up and then we froze it. Yep. Now we're putting that in there and it's going to melt and they're going to eat the snot out of it. Look at them all in there, man. Yeah. Look at them all up top around there. They're trying to get out probably because they didn't have any food. All right. Well, they're going to go crazy for that stuff. We got stuff layered up in there. We're going to push those worms back down in there. We're going to cover them up with that newspaper. And they're going to go to town on that, eh? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Thanks again, Ann Poucher. Just want to show you what we're doing. There was a ton in there earlier, but since we opened it up, they're all going down underneath. They hate the light. Well, good morning, gang. It is official, officially New Year's Day. January 1st, 2017. I'll show you something. We woke this morning. I don't know if you can see that. Thermostat is set on 66, but it's 61 in the house. That's right, the heat's not working. Also, last night, off-grid kid went to go take a shower, and he said, I don't have any hot water. So there's a problem. But I showed you this in a prior video. Now, last I checked, the stuff didn't hit the fan yet, and I don't think there was an EMP. I don't think there's martial law or any type of 
global event that might be affecting our power. But our gas is not working. Our electricity um, to the furnace is not working. But because of this little item here, we have backup heat. So it doesn't have to just be a SHTF situation. Stuff happens. Things break. Power goes out. It's nice to have backups and be prepared. We're not going to freeze today, even though it's going to be darn cold out, because we have this and we have a supply of kerosene to get us through a day or two. So the nice part about renting is I'm going to call the rental company and I'm going to tell them that we have some issues and they're going to send somebody out and I don't have to deal with it past that. But in between now and the time to get it fixed, we're going to be warm. Think about that.